ओके हाउ आर यू माय क्लास टेन इंग्लिश भाषण स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई आल्सो एक्सप्लेन आवर न्यू चैप्टर सेल्स ट्रांसपोर्ट इन ऑर्गेनिजम्स आई आल्सो ड्रॉ ए प्लांट सर्कुलेशन एंड टुडे आई आल्सो गिव यू लेसन 6.3 इट्स आल्सो ए न्यू टॉपिक्स एंड दिस टॉपिक्स नेम इज ब्लड सर्कुलेशन इन ह्यूमन बॉडी ओके in the blood circulation in human body 6.3 i also give you the concept of transpiration in human body explain the function of the components of blood first blood circulation in human body what is the blood circulation the system through which the blood transport of organs and the different parts of the body is called the blood circulatory system the distribution of nutrients and oxygen basically two structure first is nutrients and another is oxygen throughout the body and the removal of body waste is performed by this system in the human body which the types of the blood circulation in human body the flow of blood in human is limited to the inside of the blood vessels and heart two structure one structure is blood vessels and two is heart it never comes outside this type of circulatory system is called a closed circulatory system transporting blood throughout the whole body requires only 1 minutes or less there are in the human body is two types of circulatory system such as blood circulatory system it consists of the heart arteries veins and capillaries two structure is lymphatic system it consists of lymph lymphatic ducts and lacteals in the cluster biology chapter is the details basically not the lymphatic system it's also details blood circulatory system now what is blood blood is a viscous slightly alkaline and salty fluid blood circulates through the heart arteries arterioles veins venules and capillaries due to the presence of hemoglobin yes in the structure of hemoglobin with the two forms of structure one is heme and another is protein globin in red blood cells blood appears red blood originates from bone marrow please note these two words first word is hemoglobin which the presence in red blood cells and another is bone marrow higher blood appears and blood originates from bone marrow now our main topics components of blood here this board i also draw a chart first is plasma another is blood corpuscles blood corpuscles basically three types rbc or red blood cell or erythrocyte hbc or white blood cell or leukocytes and another is platelets or platelets first components of blood is first topic is plasma plasma the colorless fluid part of plasma continues about 55% volume of the whole blood the main component of plasma is water a small amount of protein organic substances and a small portion of inorganic salts are dissolved in it the substances which are present are as follows protein such as albumin globulin fibrinogen two is glucose small droplets of fats mineral salts vitamins hormones antibodies waste products such as carbon dioxide urea uric acid etc 
it also contains a small amount of sodium chloride sodium bicarbonate and amino acids so our first components of blood is the plasma you know in the coronavirus we also hear the plasma therapy okay and another structure is blood corpuscles here are the three types of the blood corpuscles one is rbc hbc and platelets blood corpuscles blood is made of three types of cells red blood corpuscles or erythrocytes erythrocytes is come from latin words latin words erythro means red white blood corpuscles or leukocytes leukocytes also come from latin words leuco means colorless platelets or thrombocytes though all of these all of these are cell in comparison with the floated particles in blood plasma these are called blood corpuscles first red blood corpuscles or erythrocytes among the three blood cells the red blood corpuscles are huge in number and play an important role for the transportation of oxygen required for respiration red blood cells are formed in bone marrow i also explain that the average viability of red blood cells is 120 days the red blood corpuscles is non nucleated and appears mostly like circles and vacuum cave discs Another structure red blood corpuscles are destroyed at every moment and equal amount of cells are produced again hemoglobin in red blood corpuscles transports oxygen as oxyhemoglobin and also carbon dioxide so red blood corpuscles is also the main structure basically blood The amount of red blood corpuscles is comparatively less in females. Red blood corpuscles in infants are comparatively high in number. Now, red blood cells main structure hemoglobin. What is the hemoglobin? Hemoglobin is a type of colored pigment. Blood appears red because of its presence in red blood cells. If the number of red blood corpuscles is not adequate then the symptoms of anemia are noticed In Bangladesh almost 2/3 of the population suffer from this disease to get rid of this disease it is necessary to take balanced diet so in the erythrocytes or red blood cells is the main components is hemoglobin Another is white blood corpuscles or leukocyte white blood cells are big and irregular in shape irregular means it has no any shape contain a nucleus and fewer in number than red blood corpuscles please remind that red blood cells is non nucleate and the white blood cell is nucleate structure there are 4 to 10000 white blood corpuscles per cubic milliliter of human blood white blood corpuscles are produced in red bone marrow and lymphatic glands their average viability is only 1 to 15 days they are colorless that's why it is called white blood cell or wbc white blood corpuscles can change their shape like amoeba and can move from one place to another it can enter the tissue via the wall of blood capillary if the body attacked by germ from outsider then the number of white blood corpuscles increases rapidly it kills germs by the phagocytosis process 
Yes. What blood cells? Basically, main structure is phagocytosis process. This process, they also attack by germ from outsider, then the number of white blood corpuscles increases rapidly. In mammal, among the blood cells, only white blood cells contain DNA. For your MCQ, please note this. Okay? Now, white blood corpuscles basically two types one is a granulocyte and another is granulocyte what is the a granulocyte a the cytoplasm of white blood cells are without granules and transparent again a granulocyte white blood cells are of two types First is lymphocyte and another is monocyte. They are produced in the lymph nodes, tonsil, spleen, etc. Lymphocytes are small cells with large nuclei. Monocytes are large cells with small oval or kidney shaped nuclei. Lymphocytes kill the germs that enter the body by creating antibodies and thus increasing immunity power. On the other hand, monocyte kill jumps in the phagocytosis process. I also explained the first structure is a granulocyte. Please everyone write this flowchart, this board. First is a granulocyte. It's also two types. First is lymphocytes and another is monocyte. Another type is granulocyte. What is the granulocyte? Granulocytes have cytoplasm with slightly stained granules. According to the size of the nucleus, granulocyte white blood cells are categorized into three types. First type is neutrophils, another is eosinophils and basophils. Neutrophils kills germs in the phagocytosis process. I also explain what is the phagocytosis process. Eosinophils and basophils prevents allergy in the body by secreting a chemical named histamine. Please note this. This word is histamine which is prevent the allergy in the body. Basophil secrets heparin I also again repeat, first is histamine and another is heparin and inhibits blood clot formation inside blood vessels. Now, blood structure is platelets or platelets. It's also very very important topics. It's here also the blood clotting. Platelets are small in size, colorless and round, oval or shape. The number of platelets comparatively high in the body, the originate in the bone marrow. Their average viability is 5 to 10 days only. They help in blood clotting. Now I also explain what is blood clotting and how can they form. Here yeah, the boards I also five step. First is thromboplastin, two is prothrombin, third is thrombin, fibrinogen and fibrin. Please everyone write this. First, how can they process? The process is the first when the endothelial surface of a blood vessel is injured. The platelets they are take irregular shapes and release a chemical substance called first structure thromboplastin. This trans transforms thrombin. Again, I repeat, please. First structure is thromboplastin. This transforms prothrombin, the protein in blood, into thrombin. And third structure is thrombin. Thrombin then acts to transform fibrinogen, also present in plasma, into fibrin which helps to clot blood. 
Fibrin is a kind of insoluble protein that can create trait like strands very quickly. Blood in the injured place stops bleeding. However, coagulation is a complex process where various chemical substances as well as vitamin K and calcium ions remain involved. Here, today I will also explain components of blood. blood. In the board question, this components of blood here, two topics. First topic is phagocytosis process, which is a stage HBC or white blood cell. And another is the blood clotting, which is stage platelets. Please, everyone take it seriously. Thank you.